Hello and welcome to round 18 here of the Monster Energy MXGP of USA. And joining me for our pit chat, we have Gautier Pollan. How, how are you, Gautier? I'm really good, and you? Yeah, really good. A little bit hot, but I'm enjoying tanning up and uh, enjoying the weather. Yeah, I mean, by my side, it's much better when it's hot, you know, like we can enjoy all the CGP. We fly on Monday from Mexico, so really happy to be here in California and there's this good weather. Have you had much time on the beach, relaxing in between the GPs? Uh, I had much time close from the beach because American Honda is in Redondo, really close from, from it. So I spent some time having dinner there and stuff, but uh, every day was busy because many of my partners are here based in Cali and I had to go and have meeting and and see them. It's always good, you know, for the relationship and really happy to, to be there because they are we are pretty much close, you know, happy to, to, to have those company behind me. And uh, it was all on the side of the beach, so I enjoyed it, which was on the freeway or, or at the meeting, it was, was really good. Oh, good. So you didn't get much time to be a tourist then for the day? Not really. The only time um, I make my recover uh, close to the beach on the bicycle, so it was awesome. Uh, but anyway, I enjoyed it. Good. Well, let's talk about the last round that we had in Leon, Mexico. Uh, a little uh, coming together with your teammate, Bobby, again. And I know that happened in Assen. What's going on? There's some really tight competition between the two Honda guys out there. I mean, <laughs> with any rider, I'm, I'm competing and um, it was with Bobby. Uh, the track was really tight because, uh, because you know, there was some mud yeah. in the morning and they just, just take out the mud on one side, couldn't everywhere. So I just passed him, which was Bobby this time. Yeah. And then uh, on the corner, I want to cut back on the inside, but there was some mud and just lost my bike, like get back some grip and poof, the bike was gone. Like I was like, wow. Oh. <laughs> so I had a big one and uh, I had some mud in the muffler. So the bike wasn't starting anymore. I had yeah. to kick the bike for, for a while. And then finally it start, but on the HRC Honda, we have two mufflers. So one was okay, the other one was full. So for one lap, the, the engine power was really slow. Yeah. And then finally the dirt went away. So then I had the two last lap really good. So. Yeah, like I mentioned on my Instagram, you know, it's I'm a fan of Ryan, but I, I don't want to do the same thing. And um, it was a fun one. I'm, I'm not injured, so I'm all right. It's, it's OK. That was, I thought that was really cool, actually, at the end of the GP to make put on your Instagram that it was pretty much the same as Ryan's, wasn't it? But you laughed it off and it just, you know, it's not nothing too serious. Nothing too serious, but still, I, I was there on the ground. So, <laughs> yeah, Ryan was a big one on the hard pack and the rocky yeah. stuff and rocky ground but uh, I was in the mud and, and like like Ryan went like direct like this and I went like kind of on the side so it was all right for me and when I went back on the bike I watched if I was, was still having the rear fender and everything was all right so it looks tricky on the, on the picture but then uh, then I'm all right and it's just um, my riding was good I was feeling good I'm not injured so let's keep it as, as a funny stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's the main thing, that is that you're okay. But um, we're round 18 now. Uh, let's talk about, obviously, Romain got the uh, title a couple of rounds ago. I know you're in a, you put in a good fight, but it just, it just wasn't meant to be for this year. How are you feeling at this stage of the game? Oh, you know, um, second of all, it's good. Uh, first of all, it's better. It's just the place everyone want to be at. And uh, Romain deserves it. You know, he has been riding really good. We have nothing to say about it. Uh, he's been having a good start and, and really consistent ride. Uh, this year it has been a really difficult year for me. Uh, start of season, uh, had to get used to everything was new, you know, with this big change. And uh, even with the winter training and stuff. And then um, in Czech Republic, hurt my knee. So this makes like, now it's ten, nine to 10 weeks and it was really hard the first months. So it wasn't easy to, to stay on a bike, especially with those racing like Lommel and stuff. And, uh, but those guys are behind me and uh, I, was, I always keep pushing hard, even if I cannot train like I want, like running and cycling and stuff. I couldn't make the exercise I wanted to. Yeah. And my training always look after to don't be like, um, make it worse. Just I need to think about recovering and be 100% at the racing. So it's been so, a great season so far, I would say. Well, you, see, you say a great season, and I mean, if you put in some good laps this weekend, I mean, you're looking to secure second in the championship. So that's not all too bad, is it? Sure, to be this world champion, it's, it's not too bad. It's always yeah. good, uh, good, you know, to recompense that crew behind me, HRC Honda. And uh, for myself, you know, it's been a long season. 
with all what happened was we, we had a DNF in France, uh, had uh, one injured and we're still second so it means that we're still fighting really hard and uh, sure you know it's, it's great and the season and now we are here uh, Grand Prix 18, the goal is to yeah, finishing seconds, keep, keep that that place and I'm feeling good so we'll be we'll be alright and then uh, next week uh, we have the title um, to how can I say just the title for the motocross of nation it's running yeah. and um, we are the number one so motocross of nation will be fr in France or the team France it's really good with uh, Romain and Marvin Muskin and myself so at the end, the end of the season, it's great, you know, being racing in America and then go yeah. go in France and ride the MXGP, MX uh, of Nation would be awesome. I mean, you mentioned Marvin and you mentioned Roman, and of course yourself, you've got a really, really strong lineup. I mean, I think everyone's money or many people's money is on Team France again. But who cho who chooses the categories and the classes of which rider goes? Is it is it you as team captain or is it Team France? We um, everyone have his word to say. Yeah. It's not only one person who really decide, but definitely um, we, 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 you know, with motocross you cannot really, how can I say, uh, program something because it can be that 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 a rider will be at the best level in the end of season or yeah. in start of season and stuff. So we we kind of decide with the French team really late the team, and uh, after we decide, uh, I decide with with the the French federation who was going in which category. Marvin is looking really good on, on, on MX2 and then Roma MX1, uh, in Open, myself in MX1, which I was riding really good last year in MX1, it's why uh, I go back in this category. And uh, we'll see, you know, uh, we are not really looking, uh, having this choice on who's going to race who, like who's in Open and who's in MX1, we're just making the choice for, for the, um, just for the type of, 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 of riding of, of the rider. and and being at the best place possible for, for this event. And it's an event that you pretty much dominated last year. You put, you're going to put in a repeat performance? Are you feeling the pressure on your shoulders for that, maybe? Pressure, there is some pressure, honestly, but that is all positive, you know, yeah. with, the, um, with the flag and, and all the people. We, I, I cannot imagine, and I think you too, no one can imagine what's going to happen. But um, it is a really positive pressure. Last year we won it, finally. And uh, it's in France. We we get the number one plate, and we wanna we wanna yeah. we wanna make it happen again. Yeah, yeah. The team is great, but motocross everything can happen. It's um, we are racing on mud. Can be raining, can be good forecast, depending yeah. of of what of we don't know. And then uh, we have we are mechanic sport. We are athlete. We are. It's not only one. We are three. Yeah, of course, yeah. Two moto. The qualifying race. The 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 to pick up the gate. You know, it's just a gamble. So. Motocross of Nation, it's a crazy race and we are really looking forward for sure. I like it. Gertje, the fans are going to be crazy, aren't they? The last race of the year, you and Anne. Yeah, the fans are going to be crazy. Like They, they, they stop repeating like, uh, hey, we are not coming like to US or we are not coming to this race, not at the French GP. We're coming to Motocross of Nation. We are waiting. We, we keep like we're coming and, and everyone's telling, telling us this. They want to do it this yeah, way. Yeah. So. I think it's gonna, I, I don't know, but like the feeling, you know, is just um, amazing. And especially like in Ernay, you know, the place like you can stand and watch all the racing. There is, n there is, I think, one or two meters that you don't see the, the riders, you know, all the rest for the full lap, you, you, you can see them. So you just are better than on TV, you know, like sometimes you don't see in the wood some spot and stuff, but like this one will be awesome. Uh, I can't wait to be there. The atmosphere is going to be incredible, but we've got that race. What are you going to do in the off-season? Are you going to have a holiday, vacation, relax? So off-season, uh, honestly, the real plan is um, I'm looking forward to ride Monster Cup. Um, but after Motocross of Nation, I need to see to recover my knee. After a little bit of rest uh, to try and pass across the operation. Uh, so this I don't know yet. Right now I'm doing step-by-step -step USGP. Motocross of Nation, be 100%, and then uh, be 100% back again to, to do this this winter schedule, being riding Monster Cup, Bercy, and maybe um, another Supercross in, in Italy. Um, don't know yet, depending, first of all, the goal, the goal is US, Motocross of Nation, then we'll see how I recover. Busy, busy man, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, sure, and then after, you know, it's arriving really quick, like winter time, need to rest a little bit for, for the body, get back on, on, on training, physical training, moto, 
um, be testing the, the new bike. We don't know which, which bike and the program for next year. So, and where also, can be Japan, can be Europe. And then uh, we fly mid of February to go to the first round. So it's been a tough one. You know, we, we don't have so much rest, but uh, we, so, we enjoy it so much. So it's, it's a great life. That's the main thing. You're living the, you're living the dream. <laughs> yeah, living the dream. You know, it's not always hard when I'm on the road cycle. It's raining and when I'm running and it's, it's tough and like I'm, I'm having pain everywhere. But when the good things are, are coming this year, it's been a tough one. But always looking forward to the better days. And uh, when you win, it's, it's erase everything. Cool. Well, best of luck for this weekend, Gautier. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. You can watch Gautier and all the races live on MXGPTV.com.